Welcome to the Witcher Math YouTube channel. Today we're going to uh, hammer through two sides of a practice test and it's going to take two videos to do that. This first one here is applying the Pythagorean theorem in a variety of situations. So without further ado, here we go. The key to applying the theorem is knowing where the legs are and where the hypotenuse is. I don't know why I put a letter G there. That was weird. And then uh, we're just going to square the legs, set them equal to the hypotenuse. I'm going to complete the squares, 64, 225. I'm going to add those together. You can see that x squared is 289. Final step, don't forget the final step. Find the root of 289, which I'm doing right now in my handy dandy calculator, and I got 17. Okay, then we look at that and we go, hey, does that make sense? And of course it does, and if you remember this, that's a bonus, that's a Pythagorean triple, right? So there's our answer, and there's our knowledge bomb dropped. Pythagorean triple. Next problem. Leg, leg, hypotenuse. Leg squared plus leg squared equals hypotenuse squared. Okay. X squared plus 16 equals 225. When you have a, a leg, unknown leg, you do need to subtract at some point. Some people do it first, some people do it last. Speaking of last, we also need to uh, take the square root of 209. Square root 209 is going to be about 14 and 4 tenths. That's rounded off, okay? Does that make sense? Yes, because each leg needs to be shorter than the hypotenuse, but when I add the legs together, it needs to be longer, so that looks like it makes sense. Next. Those of you that remember Pythagorean triples know that 5, 12, 13 is a primary one, or a basic one, so we know the answer is going to be 12. But, in case you need to prove it, here we go. We've got x squared, which is a leg. That's a leg, leg, hypotenuse, right? Leg squared plus leg squared equals hypotenuse squared, which means I'm going to take the hypotenuse squared, subtract the leg squared, okay, 144, then the final step take the square root, and of course, we already knew the answer was 12. But now we have proof. We have evidence to support our claim. All right, let's move on. These are always popular questions, whether you're taking the Smarter Balance test or just uh, some classroom test. These always seem to show up, and they cause some confusion. But here's how you avoid confusion. Understand that they're Pythagorean theorem questions. And all of a sudden, we can deal with it, right? Now, it does not matter where you draw the triangle. For example, I could draw it over here, and I would end up with the exact same answer. So it really doesn't matter. And if you want to prove it, go ahead and do it. Okay, that's how we discover things in math. But I have leg, leg, hypotenuse. This is one, two, three, four, five. This is one, two, three, four. So this one's going to be four squared plus five squared. And then we'll take the square root, right? So we have 16 plus 25. I'm sorry my writing is so tiny, but I hope the work 
comes through. 41, I need the square root of 41, which we know is going to be close to 6. It's going to be between 6 and 7. About 6 and 4 tenths. I will circle it and highlight it. So if you look at this mess, you know where the answer is. Next, one, two, and one, two, three, four, five, six. Once again, two legs. Anytime you have length of a segment and it's diagonal, that's always going to be the hypotenuse. Okay, so I have two squared plus six squared. That makes four. That makes 36. This makes this the square root of 40. And look, it should be real close to that last answer. Always be aware of your surroundings because that gives us a way to kind of check our work before we're done. <clears throat> and there we go, highlighting the answer so you can see it. And last one. Last one. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Two squared plus five squared. This looks really close. Sorry about that. Really close to that last one. 29. I need to find the root of 29. I know it's going to be five point something. What do you think? 5.3? 5.4? Yeah, somewhere in there. If I round it off, it's about five and four tenths, roughly. Hence the little squiggly lines, right? That means about. And here's our last little set of problems. All you do with these, put them in order, square them, and compare them. So these are already in order, so I'm going to save some time. Apply the squares, apply the Pythagorean theorem, complete the squares. 21 squared, I think, is 441. You could check me on that. We could tell by looking at this a mile away that this one's a no. That's what, 233? Does not equal 441. So that's a no. Next, these are also already in order. We will square them. Leg plus leg equals hypotenuse, the squares of them, of course. And I get 16, 25, 81. 41 does not equal 81, so that's a no. A common mistake people make on this one, which is why I chose both of these first two problems, 8 plus 13 is 21, right? But the Pythagorean theorem has us apply squares to that. So then all of a sudden it's not true anymore. Same thing here. 4 plus 5 is 9, right? But that's not the question at hand. Pythagorean theorem wants you to square everything. Don't make that mistake. Okay, finally, two more. This one, they're out of order. No, you're out of order. No, you're out of order. No, you're out of order. Put them in order. Square them. 64, 225, 289. Oh, you can see this one coming a mile away. Look at that. Looky there. That's a yes. So this was frowny face nose. Smiley face, yes. And this one's a frowny face because we're going to run out of room. But I'm going to work down instead. So 20 squared is 4 hundy. 21 squared. Remember, we already did it over here, so there's no reason to do it again. 441. 29 squared. 29 squared. 841, 400 plus 441 equals 841. That's a yes, and this video is done. 
that is the practice test given in class, but you don't have to be in my class to get some value out of that. It's beautiful. Green and yellow. Let's go. Okay, next video is coming up. Stay tuned. It's all about this stuff. Rational and irrational numbers. Yeah, stay tuned. Here we go. Thanks for watching the Witcher Math Channel.